we go again. That is some ominous video looking out of the angry seas. That coastal storm generating a lot of drama on the high seas this weekend for passengers aboard the Carnival Sunshine cruise ship. The storm churned up large waves that rocked the ship and its passengers, making for a rough return back to port. Some of the lower decks were flooded. Carnival released a statement to Fox Weather about the incident, saying the weather's prolonged impact on the Charleston area delayed the ship's arrival on Sunday, and as a result, the next voyage's embarkation was also delayed. We appreciate the patience and the understanding of all of our guests. The weather and rough surf led to some crew cabins being temporarily taken out of service while the cleanup for water damage. All public areas of the ship are open and in service. They also told local news outlets in Charleston that guests on board the ship were safe and that medical staff helped a small number of guests and crew members who needed minor assistance. Daniel Taylor was one of the passengers aboard the Carnival Sunshine, and he joins us now here on Fox Weather to talk a little bit more about his experience. Daniel, for starters, we're so sorry that your vacation over the holiday weekend was a bit spoiled. Can you take us through this overall experience this weekend on, on your way back to Charleston? All right. So the first couple of days was great. We had great weather, and then Friday came, and that's when it all kind of went downhill. Uh, Friday, about midday, the sea started getting pretty rough. And then by the end of the night, it was unbearable to stay in my room. Um, it literally felt like you were on a roller coaster. You were going up and down and side to side, getting jarred. It was uh, pretty scary. And then up in the early hours of the morning, uh, we had our TVs changed, so we couldn't see the course update. We couldn't see where we were going, uh, you know, the speed, the, the wind, anything. It was pretty scary with no updates from anyone from 4.45 on Friday until 7.30 the next yeah. morning. I'd have to imagine that that gets pretty unsettling, particularly when you're looking out your porthole window, and that's what you see. So you have this great Absolutely. start to your vacation. You're out on the open seas, but you have to get back to Charleston, and there's this storm that's parked there. So the cruise line is in a bit of a spot, but were you and other passengers made aware of what the plan was? Did the captain, the crew provide updates on, on what they were thinking? So the last update we got was on Friday at 445. The captain came on the intercom and said that we were going to hit adverse weather and we may arrive back into port late. Uh, we didn't get any other kind of update after that until 730 the next morning. And 730 the next morning, the cruise director came on the intercom and said that we would be arriving late into port. Uh, there was unsafe conditions and we couldn't proceed. So there was no update throughout the night to let us know anything. This is, of course, a scary experience for many. Did you see anyone uh, dealing with, we know there was at least some very minor injuries reported. Uh, any of that from what, from what you saw, or did you see any, any of the flooding that perhaps took place? So the stateroom across from me was actually taking on water. Uh, there was water coming in from the upper Pullman bed. It was just pouring in onto the bed below it, onto the carpet. The carpet began uh, getting soaked and it was running out into the hallway. Um, there was one lady that was down the hall from me. She was getting medical attention. I don't know what happened to her, uh, but she was sitting out in the hall with uh, medical personnel. Uh, as far as injuries of anyone that I know, I don't know anyone personally. So what's next here? You get back safely, thankfully, but are, are you someone that's been on many cruises? Do you plan on going on a cruise vacation again after all this, or is that the last ride? So this was my fourth one. My first one was a little bit choppy on the way back home, but it was nothing like this one. Um, when all the turbulence started and the boat was shifting, I was like, this is it. I'm going to cancel my next two cruises. I had two booked for next year. But once we got back to land, I was like, you know, the captain did a pretty good job of getting us back to land. You know, it was scary, but I'll probably go on my next two. Yeah, we're, we're glad that, that you got back safely. It is unfortunate this go around. Again, it was a tough situation with the slow motion of that storm system, but we're, uh, we're sad to see that it, it spoiled the back half of your vacation. Daniel Taylor, thanks Absolutely. for being with us here on Fox Weather. Tell us a little bit about it. Thank you very much. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.